Good morning, good morning, lovely people. Once again, today is Monday, the 1st of May, the fifth month of the year, and five means grace. And it is our prayer that this month will show us favor and grace will abound for us. Whatever that we are expecting, it is our prayer that the grace of God through this month will bring it to us. This morning, let us have our reflection on the book of John chapter 14 verse 3 and we are our theme for this morning is life continues beyond this world life continues beyond this world John chapter 14 verse 3 says that then if I go and prepare a place for you I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Amen. Beloved in Christ, we are all familiar with the life on earth here, but there is also another life that is beyond this world. The difference is that life beyond this world is not in the flesh and not visible to the human eye. Jesus Christ said he was going to prepare a place for his followers, as a matter of fact, his disciples, that is you and I, he would come back one day to have us with him, and there we will live forever. This life beyond this world seems to be very much tangible because Jesus Christ said there are mansions or a place of residence, and so this makes heaven very, very realistic to us. We can therefore suggest that death do not just end life. It can be considered as a transition from one world to the other. This place is definitely a preparational ground for us and Jesus is for us. And it is said that he will come and take us along to heaven as he has prepared for us as promised in the book that was read. It is for only those who live and die for Christ that will go along with him to this place that he said he's preparing for us. When we think of life beyond this world, we need to think always about Jesus, our present relationship with him and how we relate with him. This will determine if indeed we will have this place that is being prepared for us. It is Jesus who will come to receive his people and he said they will be at the same place where he is it is about his people so we ask ourselves this morning are we part of the people of god or are we part of jesus's people it is jesus who is preparing the place at his father's place for us jesus said he is the way to the father he's the only way and not any other way he is the lord in Christ while we live we need to always have in mind that there is life beyond this world Hebrews 9 27 says that it is appointed to man to die once and once after death there is judgment while we live may we also be mindful of the life that is after let us understand death as a situational transition so I said death is seen to be a transition from this world to the other world of eternity eternity with Christ Jesus or eternity in condemnation but as children of God we are going to spend our eternity with Christ Jesus but it all depends on how we prepare with Christ in the vessel this morning let us be encouraged that if we have Christ in our life if we prepare each day towards our death by making Jesus Christ the center of our life who is the way whom which we will inherit heaven then we know that we are secured and will definitely be with him at the hour of our death 
Let Jesus Christ be the center of your life and believe in him. Let's live in obedience to his word daily in preparation for this life eternity. And if we are able to do this, indeed, whatever preparation that he has made for us in heaven, we will be able to inherit. May the Lord bless you this morning. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you. May he give you peace today and the whole this week. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.